Regarding the character banner structure in Phase 1 of version 4.4, make a lot of sense for both gameplay and lore alike. A few new version 4.4 leaks revealed details about the composition of the Phase 1 character banners, and the alleged heroes for the first period of the update are lining up to be the perfect combo. While the popular action RPG is still in the midst of version 4.3, the next patch is already getting ready to be launched and some bits of information about it are being shared by leakers. One example is the rumored addition of new areas in Genshin Impact's best region. There are also some talks about a new deity being introduced during the upcoming version, which is likely related to the aforementioned areas. Of course, what usually gets the most attention among leaks is the presence of new playable characters. Hoyoverse has confirmed that the human form of the Adepti known as Cloud Retainer, called Xeanian, is finally being introduced as playable in version 4.4. The confirmation came after a series of leaks that suggested her arrival. The upcoming patch is also going to add the brand new gaming character, though he is expected to be a 4-star hero. Considering the leaked details about some of these characters' gameplay abilities, the alleged structure of the upcoming Genshin Impact 4.4 Phase 1 banners suddenly makes a lot of sense. Xiao and Cyanian are expected to be in Genshin Impact 4.4's Phase 1 banners. The order of the character banners in version 4.4 is set, and should feature Xiao and Cyanian in Phase 1, followed by Nahida and Yemeko in Phase 2. This information is based on data found in the playtest version of the upcoming patch, and as pointed out by Dimbreath, could potentially be wrong or outdated. Cloud Retainer's release in Genshin Impact 4.4 is mostly guaranteed following a post by Huayoverse, but the rest of the rerun characters are still unconfirmed. Xiao as Xianian's pair in Phase 1, however, makes perfect sense. Xiao and Tizianian make for a great duo in version 4.4. Based on gameplay leaks, Xiao and Xianian are expected to be a great Anemo duo in the game. Xiao is a very reliant Anemo DPS in Genshin Impact, capable of inflicting high instances of damage at the cost of his own HP. Xianian, on the other hand, is rumored to be an Anemo sub DPS and support unit, capable of building up stacks and lowering the enemy's defense whenever a party member loses HP. As such, not only will she help trigger scroll reactions and activate resonance with Xiao being an Anemo character herself, Xianian will be able to provide him with more damage output via DEF to buffs against opponents. This is one of the reasons Xiao's rerun in version 4.4 makes so much sense. The Anemo DPS is still one of the strongest in the game, but lost a lot of his usage due to other character releases and the establishment of a new meta with Dendro as a playable element. The release of Xianian can help create new gameplay possibilities for Xiao, while also allowing players to control a new character which has long been anticipated as a playable hero since the debut of her human form in 2023's version of the Lantern Rite, even if it came through artwork rather than an in-game model. Of course, Xiao's rerun in Phase 1 is also backed up by the expectation that 2024's Lantern Rite Festival will take place during the first few weeks of February rather than later into the month, leaning into the month of March. Lantern Rite festivals tend to happen very early on in the year, and, based on previous years, Xiao is usually featured in at least one of the character banners during the event. As an important figure from Liu, Xianian is also likely to debut in Phase 1, which is when Lantern Rite should happen. The order can still be rearranged, however, so it is important to manage expectations. The other two characters rumored to rerun in the Phase 2 banners of version 4.4 are Nahida and Yemaiko. At first glance, this seems more like a random assortment of five-star heroes than anything related to a piece of story content, and that may as well be true. The Dendro Archon of Sumeru and the head of the Grand Narukami Shrine do not have much in common, other than the fact that they can operate quite well together in a Hyper Bloom team comp in Genshin Impact. The two mentioned characters in the leaks may be accurate, though Hoyoverse may surprise players by changing the expected heroes in Phase 2. There is a chance for the developer to choose two 5-star heroes that make more sense when in a team comp with the new para unit gaming and his gameplay kit, should he actually debut in Phase 2. Yomiya and Raiden Shobin's choices for version 4.3's Phase 2 banners do not seem too randomized considering that Chevrous debuted in Phase 2 and that her skills boost the power of overloaded reactions in Genshin Impact, thus, 
Adding her to banners with Pero and Electro characters at the forefront is not at all surprising.